A person has additional support needs if, for whatever reason, they are unlikely to be able to benefit from school education without additional support. Obviously, this is a very broad definition. There are many reasons that can give rise to additional support needs. The learning environment, such as unsuitable curriculum, approaches to learning and teaching not meeting needs. Family circumstances, such as homelessness, parental substance misuse, being looked after by local authority or being a young carer. Disability or health, such as motor or sensory impairment, on the autism spectrum, learning difficulties or mental health needs. Social and emotional, such as behavioural needs, bullying or experiencing discrimination. There are four legal statutes particularly relevant to additional support for learning. These are Standards in Scotland Schools Act 2000, ASFL Act 2004, amended 2009, the Equality Act and Children and Young People Scotland Act 2014. A disability is defined as a physical or mental impairment which has a sustained and long-term adverse effect on a person's ability to carry out normal day-to-day -day activities. There is an expectation that public authorities should positively discriminate to promote equality through implementing duties such as ensuring that robust anti-bullying strategies are in place. Direct discrimination is fairly straightforward. You treat someone less favourably because of a certain characteristic, for example, a disability, gender, race or religion. Indirect discrimination occurs when we treat everyone the same and fail to take individual needs into consideration. Every child of school age has the right to school education or to education by virtue of arrangements made or entered into by the education authority. Pupils are to be educated as far as it is reasonable in accordance with the wishes of their parents. Education authorities must secure adequate and efficient provision of school education. Activities in school and classes are suitable for pupils with regard to their age, ability and aptitude. This includes provision for additional support needs and teaching of Gaelic in Gaelic speaking areas. School education should be provided in mainstream unless particular circumstances apply. There is guidance for the Supporting Learning Plan (SLP) and Individual Education Programmes IEP, clearly setting out when they are appropriate related to staged intervention. So who is responsible for the SLP and IEP? All teachers working with the learner need to have input. Responsibility can lie with the primary class teacher, the ASFL teacher or the ASFL PT. Hello, I am Lawrence Findlay, Corporate Director of Education and Social Care at Murray Council. I am delighted that we finally have our ASN strategy in place for Murray. And because of this strategy, learning will improve for all young people of all abilities. Central to realising the ambitions and the vision of this strategy will be the capacity and the development of our staff if we are to intervene early to support young people. And I'm delighted that we have a wide variety of training programmes in place for our teachers across our schools. Whether you're interested in nurture, attachment, solution-oriented approaches, the certificate in inclusive practice, or the support for learning teachers pathway, there will be something for you in here. These are crucial for your ongoing, your ongoing development as teachers, and also crucial uh, in terms of your GTCS registration. So I would urge you all to have a regular look at the CPD calendar on Gateway to find out what's available for you in relation to ASN.